Russ W. Oker, Go Hills TV. We're powered by Winger Companies here with Coach Kevin Ness after a 3-1 uh, to loss to Hawkeye tonight. Uh, Coach, you know, sometimes there's days like that. Obviously, it doesn't make Coach happy, but uh, your team just didn't play well tonight. No, no. That's, <laughs> you, you said it as, about as plainly as you can. Uh, we weren't good enough. Uh, credit to, to Hawkeye for um, coming and getting the job done. That's it. Well, you got the goal early. Uh, Ronaldo got uh, another early goal. Car uh, Carvalho got us uh, on the board, and it held up most of the first half. But talk about the, the defensive breakdown a little bit there late in, in the first half. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say it was a defensive breakdown. I think ultimately when you play a team like Hawkeye that in, in the way that they play the game, there's moments that you, you have to be okay without the ball, and they did a good job of exploiting our shape, and uh, we didn't adjust in the game very well. Um, we tried to make some subs to, to get guys on with the understanding of what we were looking to do, and uh, they were able to continue to exploit us. And, you know, uh, when we, had, we were defending as long as we were and with the way that they play, they're going to create opportunities, and unfortunately um, – we couldn't keep them out. So um, I think there were things on the attacking side of the ball and some simple things defensively that we just couldn't execute, and um, it killed us. Well, you're five two and two at this point. Uh, you know, obviously not sure what the expectations were for sure coming into the year with the new situation. But yeah. that's not a bad record. A lot of soccer left to be played. You're going to turn around uh, and come back home here on Saturday. What do we know about Iowa Lakes? Had a chance to look at anything on them yet, or yeah. is that going to come now? Yeah, I mean, it's 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 only going to get harder. Um, the, the quality of teams that we play, you know, the intensity that they play at, you know, tactically they're, they're going to be sharp, so we need to be smart. Uh, we can't continue to shoot ourselves in the foot in terms of the decisions that we make, and we have to be able to adjust in-game. In um, you know, this is the player's game, so the coaches can only do so much outside of, you know, pregame and, and halftime. So guys need to recognize situations in the game and, and uh, counter them and, and, and exploit them. And we haven't shown that we can do that consistently. And like I said, the schedule's only going to get harder. Um, We'll be there. You know, we'll get there. You know, but Iowa Lakes is going to be our biggest challenge all season. Uh, Scarducci played the entire night in goal. You've been kind of going back and forth there a little bit. Uh, was that a planned deal? Hayashi healthy, or is it just something you decided to give uh, Mateo the the full game tonight? Yeah, I mean, we, we've been going with who's you know a better fit in the game, and you know, uh, and Mateo has a good sense of the the pace of the game and the and the the, the flow of the game. Uh, uh, Kosi's more of a shot stopper, a big time goalkeeper. So there's different moments for them. And, uh, um, you know, I think Kose could have made some saves tonight, uh, but I think Mateo did his job in a lot of the sense. And I don't put anything on Mateo. I think, like I said, uh, we just didn't adjust tactically, which allowed them to keep the ball a large portion of the game and, uh, and get, got them into dangerous areas that they were able to finish. All right. Thanks, Coach. Uh, Indian Hills will be back here on Saturday against Iowa Lakes. Uh, women at one, men at three. Coach Kevin Ness uh, and his team fall tonight, but they'll bounce back on Saturday with Jimmy Ott and Titus Lettering. I'm Russ W. Oker for Go Hills TV. We're powered by Winger Companies.